21 November. I was not expecting that my performance will be as natural as it is. I was blown away when I saw all the tiny details are there. Right there next to me. We had several agendas for the project. The main one was to illustrate the power of MetaHuman Animator as a next big step in our MetaHuman framework. From artistic and creative perspective, we wanted to tackle several challenges. One of the biggest ones, we actually wanted to focus entirely on the character's face, to team up with Ivan and Rasha, who are both experts in their own field, coming from kind of traditional film background. We wanted to avoid this famous uncanny valley. The close-up shot is really the base of the movie and the cinema. And that's really how viewer is communicating and exchanging emotions with the character. Everything shows up. I was skeptical a little bit because most of the time the way the actors are behaving in video games is overreacted. For me, the close-up is the most delicate part of my art, expressing the inner self of the character. I don't know. Human face is tremendously complex. We needed a tool powerful enough to be able to analyze all of those informations instead of trying manually to recreate each individual muscle movement on a human face. One of the most important aspects is obviously eyes. That is what makes or breaks the whole impression. And so we put a lot of effort to actually design from that kind of artistic standpoint and allow the technology to do the rest. The gaze was a very important part of the process and I'm really proud of how this looks and I think that is probably maybe the most important part of this piece, why it works. It actually enables the viewer to kind of empathize and to connect with the character. If you want to take it further, you can take it. The curves are there on the control rig. You can alter it, do whatever you want, or you can use it as is, get a very high fidelity out of the box. As a cinematographer, the experience differs, but in a good way. We were able to conceptualize the lighting physically with Ivan to prepare the scenes in Unreal, and then pop in the performance and the camera inside and just on the set decide if we want to take another take to see the results of the light on the actor, even when light was not present on set. And to change the light later on, you want to work in this kind of environment. It felt natural and the workflow was really, really amazing. One of the main engines of acting is imagination. If you follow your inner emotions, your body will move spontaneously in front of the camera. If you don't have inner world, actors are usually trying to think only about what their performance is looking like. In this work, I was trying to explore just my inner world, and the result is stunning. You cannot distinguish the quality of the output that was done through this technology or shot on set with the real camera. The camera work and the performance of the actor and everything that gets audience involved into the shot, it's there, nothing's lost. <laughs>